Good morning. Good morning and welcome back. Today is Thursday, thankful Thursday, June 1st, 2023. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And good to see everyone this morning. Welcome to the month of June and welcome to this morning's prayer and Bible study and Bible reading of Revelation chapter 5 today. So welcome. The year is um, flying by. I can't believe it's June. We're almost halfway through 2023. And it's 9.02 a.m. Let me tell you what the weather is here today. The weather is currently 63 degrees and sunny. So I'm praying that it's going to be a wonderful day today. It was a beautiful day. The weather was gorgeous yesterday. I was able to get out and go to um, the botanical gardens, although I missed the garden part, but there's... A another walking park that I was able to get out for a few minutes and get some fresh air and get some sunshine. So welcome everybody to the month of June. And today we are picking up with Revelation chapter five. I'm going to stick with, um, I'm going to stick with the um, Amplified Translation. And again, like yesterday, yesterday's chapter was very short. Today's chapter is very short as well. There are only 14 verses here in chapter five. All right. I did read it in all four translations this morning or three. I have four up. I read it in the Amplified, the King James and the message. I'm going to stick with the Amplified this morning. There was nothing really in any of the other translations that um, struck me that made me want to switch over from the Amplified. So we're going to go with the Amplified. All right. And because it's Thursday, we're going to do our um, thankful Thursday prayer. Let me tell you what the theme is for today. Today, um, what do I have up here? This is really, I have here thanking God for his provision and his benefits. But I don't really think that that's the theme. We're just going to go through it though. I don't know why I titled it that. Um, but anyway, let's pray and then let's get into the word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you so much for waking us up this morning, Lord. I thank you that we have eyes to see and ears to hear. Father, I thank you that it is well with us, that it is well with our children, it's well with our families. God, I thank you that you continue to watch us and bless us, oh God. I thank you that each and every day when we wake up, you have new benefits, your goodness, your grace, your mercy. It's new every morning for us, Lord God. Father, I thank you that you will continue to bless the works of our hands, Lord God. I pray that you we will order our steps, thoughts, actions, words, and deeds. Let everything that we say, do, think, and become, let it be according to your will. Let it be pleasing in your sight. Father, I ask that you keep us in the right place at the right time. Lord, I pray that you will fine tune our ears to hear you, Lord God, that when you speak, we will hear and we will respond timely, accurately, and appropriately, oh Lord. Father, we thank you for our bloodlines, God. I just want to cover our bloodlines, both maternal and paternal, from the oldest to the youngest. Lord, I ask that you will get a hold of each and every person in our bloodlines, oh God. Father, those that have fallen away, those who are backslidden, those who don't want to serve you any longer, Father, those who are even weary in their faith, Holy Spirit, I pray that you will get a hold of them, revive them, oh God, give them a fresh anointing and a divine encounter with you, Lord God, cause people to come across their paths that will speak life back into them, brighten their days, oh Lord. And Father, I thank you for what you're doing in our lives, Lord. I thank you, oh God, for your angels that you have given charge over us. I thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you gave us, Holy Spirit, our comforter. God, I thank you that we are divinely protected and fully provided for. Lord, I thank you for eternal and everlasting life. I thank you for favor in our lives, oh God. I thank you for finances that we will be able to fund your kingdom. Lord, I thank you for your guidance. I thank you for your grace that's upon on our lives. I thank you for my best friend, Holy Spirit, once again. Lord, I thank you for insight to make the right decisions. And Father, I pray on each and every one of us that you will release the anointing of the sons of Issachar, that we will be able to discern the times and seasons and we will know what we ought to do. I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for joy in our lives, joy in our homes, joy in our hearts, oh God. I thank you for knowledge. I thank you for kindness. And I thank you for the kingdom of God and kingdom principles. 
Father, I thank you for love. I thank you that you love us. I thank you for each and every lesson we have learned in our lives. Lord, I thank you for mercy. I thank you for miracles. May our lives be marked by miracles. Oh God, may we experience miracle after miracle after miracle. Lord, I thank you for new levels of wisdom. I thank you for new ways of working, new ways of thinking. Oh God, I thank you for open doors and opportunities. Lord, I thank you for peace of mind, peace in our homes, peace in our hearts, peace in our relationships. Lord God, I thank you for quantum leaps that we will make quantum leaps forward in the realm of the spirit. Father, I thank you for restoration and recompense. Father, may everything that is owed to us, everything, Lord, that is supposed to be ours. May we receive recompense. May we have restoration, restitution. Oh God, may we experience divine recovery in this season. May the month of June be a month of divine recovery. Father, may we recover all that has been lost, broken, and stolen. Father, we thank you for strategies, strategies on how to work harder, not smarter, strategies to complete more in less time, strategies on how to start our businesses, grow our businesses, recover our finances, restore our health. Lord God, I thank you for teaching us, teaching us the things that we know that we need to know for the future. Thank you for our talents, oh Lord. Father, I thank you for understanding. I pray that you increase our capacity for understanding. Teach us to understand your word on a deeper level. Father, I thank you for victory in every area of our lives. I decree and declare we are victorious. Lord, I thank you for wisdom, wisdom on how to navigate the times and the seasons. Lord, with all that's going on in the United States and all that's going on in the globe, on, on a world stage, oh Lord. Father, I pray that you give us wisdom, how to position ourselves, how to shop, how to eat, how to speak, how to think, how to get into our prayer closets, Lord. Father, I thank you for x-ray vision. I pray that you will reveal to us things that are hidden that we need to know of, oh God. Things that are going on in underneath the tables and back doors, closed doors, oh God. I just pray secret meetings, Lord, that you will expose the truth, expose emails, expose documents, expose hidden phone calls, Lord God, everything that has been hidden from your people, everything that is meant to deceive us. I pray, Lord God, that you will bring exposure and you will cause us to see what we need to see, Father, even things that are going on that we need to know of concerning people in our spheres of influence, Lord. Father, I thank you that we are a yes to your will, Father. I say yes to your will, yes to your way, yes to the plan and purpose that you have for my life, oh God. And Lord, I thank you for a fresh zeal. May we never be cold or grow um, complacent in our walk with you, oh God. And Father, I pray that you will release the Zebulun anointing upon our lives. Now, Father, as I prepare to read your word, Revelation chapter five this morning, Father, I pray that you will sharpen our hearing. Father, increase our capacity to understand and know what the book of Revelation is teaching us, oh God. Show us how to apply it, how to connect the dots, oh Lord, that we will be prepared for everything and anything that is transpiring in the earth. Lord, I just thank you and I ask that you bless the reading of your word. Bless each and every person that is on here with me live and each and every person that will join and watch the replay. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. May the month of June be blessed from beginning to end, from June 1 until the last day of June. May this be a month of acceleration. May this be a month of restoration. May this be a month, month of advancements. May this be a month where we recover physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. May June be a month of recovery. All right, so let's get into um, Revelation chapter five here in the, <clears throat> excuse me, here in the Amplified Translation, the scroll with seven seals. I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne, a scroll written on the inside and on the back, closed and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel announcing with a loud voice, who is worthy having the authority and virtue to open the scroll and to break its seal? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth in Hades, the realm of the dead, was able to open the scroll or look into it. And I began to weep greatly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or look into it. Then one of the 24 elders said to me, stop weeping. 
Look closely, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has come, has overcome and conquered. He can open the scroll and break its seven seals. Verse six, and there between the throne with the, the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb or Christ standing, bearing scars and wounds and as though it had been slain with seven horns, complete power, and with seven eyes, complete knowledge, which are the seven spirits of God who have been sent on duty into all the earth. And he came and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, Christ, each one holding a harp and golden bowls full of fragrant incense, which are the prayers of the saints, God's people. And they sang a new song of glorious redemption, saying, Worthy and deserving are you to take the scroll and to break its seals, for you were slain or sacrificed. And with your blood, you purchased people for God from every tribe and every language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of royal subjects and priests to our God, and they will reign on the earth. Angels exalt the lamb. Verse 11, then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne and the voice of the living creatures and the elders and they numbered myriads and of myriads and thousands of thousands innumerable, saying in a loud voice, worthy and deserving is the lamb that was sacrificed to receive power and riches and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every created thing that is in heaven or on earth or under the earth in Hades, the realm of the dead or on the sea and everything that is in them saying together to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb Christ be blessing and honor and glory and dominion forever and ever. And the four living creatures kept saying, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped him who lives forever and ever. Amen. That concludes the reading of Revelation chapter five. All right. So let me, there's just uh, like three footnotes here. Let me read the footnotes to you. Okay. So there's a footnote here for Revelation uh, verse number two. When the seals are broken, the consummation of history focused in the judgments is unveiled. Let me read verse two to you. And I saw a strong angel. I love that it says a strong angel announcing with a loud voice, who is worthy having the authority and virtue to open the scroll and to break its seals. Now the footnote is referring here to breaking the breaking of the seals. And so again, it says when the seals are broken, the consummation of history focused in the judgments is unveiled. All right, there's a footnote here for verse six. The lamb is Jesus Christ who stands between. In other words, both as one with God upon the throne and as one with humanity around the throne. All right, then there's another footnote here for verse seven. Let's see what verse seven says. And he came and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And the footnote reads... Um, this is the Greek per the word taken is the Greek perfect tense, which John sometimes uses to emphasize the lasting significance of an action or event. Now, um, what did I jot down in my notes? So I just made note of, um, Verse one, it mentions that there's a scroll that it's written on the inside and on the back of it. It's closed and it's sealed with seven seals, right? And we know um, in the Bible, the, word, the number seven signifies completion or perfection, right? And then I wrote down verse eight here. It says, and when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and 24 elders fell down before the lamb or Christ, each one holding a harp and golden bowls full of fragrant incense, which are the prayers of the saints, God's people. Now, I said to myself, I've heard of prayers being or, you know, um, prayers and incense, right? So here in Psalm chapter 141, verse 2 
it says, I'll read a couple of translations for you. It says here in the New Living Translation, accept my prayer as incense offered to you. Right? Then I'll just read a few. Let my prayer stand before you like incense. Let my prayer be set before thee as incense. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you. Um, may my prayer linger. I like this. May my prayer linger before you like incense. Accept my prayer like a gift of burning incense. I love this. Think about that. May my prayer linger. When something lingers, it hangs around for a while, right? Just imagine like sometimes you might cook something if you cook let's say you cook fish right in the house the smell of that fish lingers right and so i good morning um i love this that it says may my prayers linger before you so may my prayer not come up before you and then you know it goes away from your memory or in from in front of you but may it linger all right let my prayer be accepted as a sweet smelling incense in your presence Receive my prayer as incense. May my prayer be established as incense before you. Regard my prayer as my even, evening sacrifice and as incense wafting up to you. Again, that's the, when you think about that and you visualize that, that's when a, a smell wafts, right? Like it, it's traveling. May my prayers come up before you as incense. I just happen to love this, right? I like when I hear things in the scripture and it rings a bell, I like to go back and find other places in the scriptures where it was men mentioned. So now I can tie that verse back to um, Psalm chapter 141 verse 2. All right, then I have in my notes here verse 13. And I heard every created thing, every it says every very clearly here. And I heard every created thing that is in heaven or on earth or under the earth in Hades, the realm of the dead or on the sea and everything that is in them, everything that's in the sea, everything that's on the earth, everything that is under the earth, saying together to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb Christ be blessing and honor and glory and dominion. Again, now this reminds me of... Um, a gospel song i think it's hezekiah walker right glory glory to, glory to glory maybe that's the song right glory and onion glory and onion <laughs> honor dominion and power right so that's that to me we can tie this here to revelation chapter five we're in chapter five verse 13 um that oh okay so i miss 11 i have 11 and i have king james here in my notes. So let me read verse 11 to you out of the King James. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, family. All right. Um, yeah. So just think about this. Many angels, the voice of many angels and the beasts and the elders and the number of them, it was innumerable. 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. That's a lot. Everything is, is praising God, right? At this point, it told us in verse 13, everything, every created thing, every created thing. All right. So this ends here at verse 14. That was the last, um, that was the last verse in my notes. And 14 concludes, and the four living creatures kept saying, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped him who lives forever and ever. Amen and amen. All right. So everyone, have a wonderful day. This is Thursday, thankful Thursday. Take some time out of your day today to, to thank God for everything that he has ever done for you. We can't even remember, or we don't even, actually, we don't even know everything that God has done because he does things behind the scenes that we just don't even know he worked it out, right? So everything that God has ever done, everything that he is doing now, because he keeps us, he woke us up today. So he's continuing to do things for us and everything that he will do in the future. 
So I just want to say everyone have a wonderful, a wonderful day. This is the month of June. Also pray over the month of June. I'm praying that June will be a month of recovery and divine restoration. May everything that we have lost all the time, the years, uh, finances, health, may everything be restored and recovered. May we recover all um, and just have a wonderful day and a new month. All right. So for those of you that are watching on YouTube, you will see over my head a card. If you click on that card, it will take you to Revelation chapter six. And I just ask everybody, please do visit my YouTube channel. Even if you watch on Facebook, even if you watch on Instagram, please go to Allison Vaughn on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Help me share the word of God with the world because we do have to operate with the algorithm. And so I do need people to subscribe, even play the videos while you or eating dinner while you're driving in the car, put your phone on while you jump in the shower, play a video, help me get the views up also so that YouTube will share the, the videos with more people. We need more people to hear the word of God, those who cannot read, those who are visually impaired, those who, my, who my, like myself just like to hear the Bible read. That's why I listen to it on the audio Bible, okay? So help me spread the word of um, God with more people. And I put up a post for those of you on Facebook. Let me just say this real quick. Um, I put up a post last night. I am preparing to launch a website. All right, so prayerfully it's going to be, it should be live in the month of June. I'll just say it like that, in the month of June. My website should be um, live. I'm working with a developer, so I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to see what is going to, um, what's going to look like. Month from, I pray that June will be a month of new beginnings for me, all new things. All right, so with that, I'm going to say, have everyone have a wonderful, wonderful day, grace and peace, and may this day um, bring unexpected surprises, good surprises and blessings for you. All right, everyone, see you back here tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.